Hello everybody, it's Mr. McGlinchey again. We're going to do a science experiment with stuff you can find around the house. Today we're going to talk about fire. For a fire to burn, it needs three things. It needs a source of heat. It needs something to burn or fuel. And it needs oxygen. If you take one of these away, you can't have a fire. I should also preface this by saying, moms or dads are gonna to need to be involved in this experiment. The materials we'll need today for our experiment, baking soda, I'm using a dessert dish, a candle, a small pitcher of white vinegar, and a lighter. I'll wait here while you go get your supplies. We'll see you in a minute or two. The first thing we're going to do for our experiment is we're going to take our baking soda and we're going to put a good amount of baking soda right in my dessert dish. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your candle, put it right in the center. Once you have it in the center, you're going to have mom or dad light the candle. Now, if you'll recall, I said a fire needs three things. It needs oxygen, it needs a fuel to burn, and it needs heat. The heat was supplied by my lighter, the oxygen is all around, and the fuel that's burning is the wick on the candle. So I'm going to use the vinegar to take away one of those three objects that we need for a fire. Let me show you what's going to happen. I'm going to pour my vinegar on the baking soda around. The flame went out. The bubbles didn't put the fire out. What happened was a chemical reaction. I poured the vinegar into the baking soda and there was a chemical reaction. The vinegar and the baking soda combined and they released a lot of carbon dioxide. There's not a lot of oxygen there. And that carbon dioxide pushed out the oxygen and made the flame die because again one of the three things a flame needs is oxygen please make sure your mom and dad are here when you do this experiment and if you want i think most of the times you can do it a couple times if you don't pour too much vinegar in the first time here we go again I hope you enjoyed our science experiment today. Try it at home with mom and dad and have some fun. Come back and see me.